for 68 years female history of dyspnea class 2 class 3 for last about 6 7 months and where you see here the aortic valve is calcified restricted opening again there is a uh, 2d evidence of a severe aortic stenosis la being enlarged and we you do a color doppler you see a narrow jet again supporting the diagnosis of severe aortic stenosis and uh, yes subscribe the channel because it will be good i'll be posting new videos every now and then but you get a surprise that the the gradients are not too high gradient is just 3 meter per second and then you wonder what is happening this is severe aortic stenosis with a low gradient and situation where you have low flow across the lvot the lvot cyst cyst Mm, the index is about 11.9 against a normal of 35 so there is a less flow across the lvot that's why the gradient is less and there are two situation where it can happen it can happen with the ejection fraction is poor if the ejection fraction is low then the flow across the lvot is less in this a very peculiar situation there the severe mitral regurgitation and the majority of the blood from lv is going to la and there is a less blood going across lvot so that the lvot flow is less and this is what is causing low flow low gradient aortic stenosis and you, the definition of that is in case you have aortic valve area less than a centimeter then the, the gradient is low do you either can have a reduced ejection fraction in there you use a dibutamine to improve ejection fraction and improve gradients and if the ejection fraction is normal you can't improve it because there's no dobutamine required then you do an aortic valve calcium score if the calcium is high that means there's a severe aortic stenosis you do the surgery and yes and what you do is subscribe the channel